This album has a very like weird looking cover photo. I wonder what the point of that is. And also, really quick, I'm very disappointed because Chloe Bailey's new album, which by the way, you'll probably see the review to that before you see this one. It, you know, it ain't got a vinyl as of right now. That freaking sucks because I want one. But anyway, F1 Trillion is actually, sup- not really surprisingly, um, my main concern with Post Malone's new kind of country thing that he's doing was would he be able to do it for a whole album and make it unique? I didn't have no concern that the songs would sound sonically good. I was worried about getting bored. And I didn't because Post Malone, one, I've always kind of thought that his voice is literally perfect to do country music. The way his voice can kind of do this crack almost, that it isn't like a crack, it just, he makes it shake almost is the best way to describe it. He makes his voice shake, makes them vocal cords vibrate. And it works really, really well. Um... Uh, uh, let me get past that note. I wish I could have heard more of like solo by himself because they're, they're like literally every song except like three, I think out of 16 or 17 is like collaborating with other country artists, which don't get me wrong. I'm glad we got to hear that. And you can tell Post Malone's the type of guy that he kind of just wanted to work with all these guys. You know, you got everyone from Morgan Wallen to Luke Combs to Hardy. Like, you've got everybody. To Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton is on a Post Malone project. Ain't that crazy? Um, If you would have told me back when, like, Rockstar was popular and back when he dropped beer bongs and Bentleys, if you would have told me that in about, when did that album drop? Was that 2016, 20, like, 17-ish? If you would have told me in, like, in the next six or seven years that he would be releasing country music, I would laugh at you. Like, i seen a picture comparing how he used to look to now, where he used to have braids and, like, no face tats. Now he has, like, a beard riding a horses and a cowboy hat. That's crazy. That rhyme, too, by the way. That was, It's just, it's kind of crazy to look at. But Post Malone has always kind of struck me to be the person that kind of just likes to make whatever kind of music he likes. His last album, which before my channel got deleted... Reaction was on this channel and he, I thought, did a very good job kind of exploring a new sound. It was very unique to him. And I liked that too. I liked that album. Not as much as I like this one, but that one was a good one. I love the production on this album. The guitars is great. Post Malone's singing is great. Some features don't necessarily hold their weight and don't sound as good. However, most of the other like cameo voices we hear do sound good. I love the song with Morgan Wallen on it. I don't think Hardy does too bad of a job. Dolly Parton sounds really good. Um, Luke Combs is pretty good on one of his singles, like the first one in the album, but the second one he doesn't do too hot on. Uh, Blake Shelton does a good job on Pour Me a Drink. Just a lot of voices are used kind of like, kind of that kind of basic country song formula. You got the hook, then you got a verse, and then you got the hook again where the second voice is kind of coming in a little bit, and then he does his verse, and then they both combine to sing the hook again. You know, kind of that formula is on multiple of these songs and you kind of, you notice it immediately. As soon as you hear it about five times, you start to just be like, ah, these, a lot of these songs are structured the same way. You know, a lot of them are definitely structured the same way. Excuse me. I know there's like certain blanks and like moments where the video goes silent. It's because I'm like cutting out the sound of me blowing my nose, but Anyway, it's a really nice length, though. Um, none of the songs really drag. Um, perfect, like, hook game, dude. All these songs have amazing hooks. And this album is just another testament to Post Malone's versatility. It has me very curious on where he can go next and what kind of other songs he can make next. Oh, Tim McGraw does a really good job. I know that was so random, but Tim McGraw does a really good, like, part on this album. I would have loved to hear him with Shibuzi. I would have loved to have heard Zach Bryan, but I'm not going to sub, I'm not going to minus like just like potential. I'm not going to do that because I don't, I'm not going to rank an album just because it had potential. But anyway, overall, I'd give it like an eight out of 10. This album is a pretty fun time. It's a good thing to listen to. I liked it.